So now we have a simple service. Wasn't that easy? But it still doesn't wake itself up. Fortunately, there's a system service for that. This is a good opportunity to introduce the alarm manager. The alarm manager allows you to tell the system that you want it to wake a component of your application up after a period of time and do some processing in the background. You can even have it wake up your application periodically. But what do we wake up in the background? That would be an Android component we haven't seen before called a broadcast receiver. A broadcast receiver is a special class that is used to receive intent broadcasts, often from other applications. Typically, a broadcast receiver will register an intent filter for these broadcasts. It's also one way the application will listen in on alarms. Alarms take advantage of a new kind of intent called a pending intent. A pending intent is a special kind of intent that is handed from one application to another. The big difference between a pending intent and a regular intent is that a pending intent gives permission for the app using it to send data with the same permissions and application identity as the app that created it. In Android, this allows a system process to call your application back in a specific asynchronous way without compromising the Android security model. In alarms, a pending intent is used by the alarm manager to talk to the broadcast receiver we create. Let's add some alarm stuff. First, I'm going to add a broadcast receiver as a static inner class of Sunshine service. Since this is an Android component, I'll register this broadcast receiver in the manifest. Note the way a static inner class is notated. OK, I've given you the bones of a broadcast receiver that can handle an alarm, but now it's your turn. You can create a pending intent from an explicit intent to have the alarm manager activate your broadcast receiver. I recommend setting the alarm to something absurdly short, like 5 seconds, so you can easily test that it's working.